Hello everyone, this is Nick from QEM and on this video we are going to show you how to use the quad view and multi view feature within the view log. So go ahead and uh, log in to a user that can access the view log. If we go down to our bubble menu, third from the right is our view log tab. Let's click on that and then we'll go to the video audio log tab. And you can go ahead and ignore this warning as we typically tell you within the videos. Now if you go to the top of our drop down menu, make sure to choose the proper camera and date and time of your event. Then we'll go up to our view mode tab, which is the first bubble on the top of the screen right here and click on that and if you see we're sitting on our single view standard right now we will drop down to the quad view and multi view feature let's go to quad view first what this does is it breaks the camera view up into a four camera screen division of the first four cameras you have selected all the events listed are below and we are going off the event footage based on the camera selected at the top of our screen. So if we went to our second camera, it would show events based from that list as well. Down to camera four. If you notice that some of these cameras are blue, that does not mean the cameras are not functioning. We're set to motion record right now, so that just means there was no motion recording at the event time that we have selected. So you can go ahead and click play from here and it'll play both cameras we have motion footage for simultaneously. If there was four cameras up it would play all four events simultaneously as well. We'll go ahead and stop that and we'll come up to the top again to our view mode tab and again to return home go to the single view then the secondary menu and standard. Now if we go back in and drop down to our multi view tab, what that allows us to do is bring up a 16 camera screen division. So now we have 16 cameras up and again we can simultaneously play all 16 cameras at once based on the event that we chose. Every single camera in blue is just a camera that does not have motion recording at the time. You'll see some pop on and off, and that means that there was motion recording intermittently. All right, some of you may be wondering uh, how to get different cameras on your quad view, or some of you may be thinking, well, I have more than 16 cameras on my system. I will go ahead and show you how to set up different screen divisions within the quad view and the multi view. First I'm going to come up to my view mode tab and return to standard mode. Okay. Go ahead and stop your event completely and if you drop down your bubble menu it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll see the settings tab. It has the hammer and the screwdriver. Go ahead and click on that. And now you'll see a couple of tabs up here, our quad view tab and our multi view tab. We'll click on the quad view tab, it's the first one. And if you noticed here, we have our quad view one, that's set up with camera one through four. And if we click on the drop down to quad view two in our tree, it's highlighted we can drag and drop any camera we'd like over to the quad view and set up our own four camera screen division so we'll do camera four drag it over to quad view two camera five camera six and camera seven and again you can drag any four cameras you'd like over here it does not have to be a numer numerical order and we'll click OK so now let's go back to an event we'd like to view those four cameras for, make sure our date and time are the ones we're looking for. And we'll go up to our view mode tab again at the top, right here. Click on that, go down to quad view, and if you'll notice now, there's a quad view 2 tab. Click on that, that's the one we created. 
So if you'll notice, we have no events set up for the time we have chosen. But if we click up our event list, events will pop on. We can play from there. And then within that quad view, if you find a time where you'd like to bring up a singular camera, you can directly click on the camera and continue to play. Okay, let's stop this event. Go ahead and just bring us back to a standard mode. Singular camera. There we go. Now let's go to our multi-view settings for our 16 camera screen division. We'll go down to our settings tab. And we'll go over to the multi-view tab. This is pretty similar to how we set up the second quad view. Drag down in the first menu and we'll see multi-view too. And this is how we can create a secondary multi-view screen. You can just drag and drop them. It doesn't have to be 16 cameras. You can do more than 16, or excuse me, less than 16. Um, some people have up to 32 cameras, maybe more. So in this instance, you can create two, three, four multi-view screens. Okay, I'll click OK now that we'll save it. We will go up to our view mode tab, drop down to multi view, and now we'll see our second multi view tab that we just created. And we can play the footage from here. We can click on any camera to bring it up to our main screen division. Typically, they'll be the same size in your screen division if you have 16 cameras. There we go. This is our fisheye. Still warped. We'll cover that in a later video. Alright guys, and that's how you create uh, multiple quad view and multiple screen divisions. Uh, thank you for viewing, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video.